Hi, I'll be doing a video on oil change on an shift. Start with what you need to do the oil change is oil, filters, just do a, a drain fill plug that's an inch and a quarter, or you can grab a 12 millimeter Allen. And then <clears throat> you can go two ways with this one. You can go OEM Volvo or Donaldson. Same filter, same width. So whatever is cheaper, wherever you have an account or whatever you can get. <clears throat> and then an inch and a half socket to remove the oil filter from the oil filter housing. Also some O-rings. I use only oil, uh, oil for the ice shift oil. 7580 from Volvo and I use a hand pump to pump it in here's the drain pan I use for it it needs to be four to five gallons um, you can use it also use your oil drain pan doesn't, doesn't really matter make a difference all right so under the truck this is the oil drain Is the eyesight, and right next to it is the where I'm going to be refilling the oil. Right next to it, right here. Do it a little bit. Right there, yeah. Right there. Eyesight and oil fill, and then go over to the driver's side is where the oil filter is at. This is where I'm gonna use the inch and a half socket to take off. I take it off with a, just a ratchet. I'm not using an air gun or anything on it because it's a plastic going inside the aluminum. Um, you wanna have your pan under here because it's gonna, oil's gonna come over it. That's it, I'm gonna start draining and while it's draining, I'm gonna talk about something else. I like to watch the oil and it's going down just to see if there's any uh, brass or metal. It's pretty clean, other than a little dirty. So, so Volvo recommends doing it 500,000. Uh, we're doing that 450. Is about when we do it. <clears throat> You want to make sure uh, you keep all the receipts from the parts you buy or if you're going to take it in to do it because uh, the warranty is about, I think it was 500 or 5 years or 3 years. You need to uh, call into a dealership with a VIN number, but it's either 500 or 750. And um, so if anything happens, you want to make sure you have the receipt that you did the maintenance on this uh, on the ice shift. So the filter is about to drop out. Another thing that I do is I put my hand like that so that when the oil comes out with the filter, um, it doesn't go down my sleeve. It drips off from my fingers from here instead of going up down my sleeve and up my hand. Just had to share that with you, but everybody's got little tricks, so just sharing everything I know. Alright, so there it is. in there go down it is so I got the new o-ring that came in a kit and the trick an older uh, gentleman taught me is put a screwdriver under here and go around the o-ring so that if your o-ring is Turned, it sits, it, uh, when you go around with your screwdriver, it centers it and it sits a lot better. We have less chances of it getting kinked, ripped, or another leak. And when 
to filter things off you have to clean out this inside because you can see a little bit of brass from the synchros which is kind of normal because when shifting you, you can see the shine it kind of uh, synchros it comes down you have to clean that out do a new filter on and uh, just put a little bit of oil on a new o-ring from the gloves or whatever's left over uh, the kit also calls, comes with the small little o-ring this one doesn't have a little doesn't have a hole over here to drain it before you take off the whole thing so I don't need it I don't use it so I'm gonna clean up oil filter holder and then uh, I'll install it back together I'm ready to refill the transmission my other little issue if you don't have a lift for your truck or use the uh, five gallon bucket you have to go have to go through here because anything else is lower and I, my bucket won't fit, fit with the uh, hand pump you go in from the back you get under the truck and I just carefully drag it to the transmission I'll show you what full looks like on the eyesight over here in the instructions that's the eyesight and maximum is just a little air bubble up top that's what we're looking for when we're filling it up oil filter housing I check make sure it's clean there's nothing there it's gonna rip my o-ring on the way in good to go Filters tight, or, um, just as tight as any other filter, 18 to 20 foot pounds. Um, it's plastic, so too much pressure is going to break it. The fill hole coming out over here, you have to do use either a three inch extension, half inch extension, or remove the starter cables. 12 millimeter bolt comes off. Got my hose in. I'm pumping oil in, and um, it takes a little over four gallons for drain and fill. If it's a completely dry new transmission, it will take practically practically all the five gallons. So it's going to take a minute for me to uh, pump the oil in there. Meanwhile, I just kind of lay here and look at the truck around, see if I see anything else that needs to be. Uh, fixed or adjusted like the wiring harnesses or some airlines that are rubbing to keep an eye out on those um, alright so the transmission is full I fill it up a little more because the filter is going to take up a little bit <clears throat> I fill it up from this oh shoot sorry When filling up here, it comes up with eyesight. Ugh, it's so blurry. Sorry, there we go. Filling up here, it comes out, and you know it's full. But I added a little more, like I said, to um, the oil filter is going to take up a little bit. And it's going to drop down and be perfect. And um, you probably know this, but any bolt that you take off must be either completely off or fully tightened it's really easy to forget to tighten something and then you might have a very big problem drain fill any plug or oil filter or anything it must be either off or tight on and tight not halfway on or anything um, so that's uh, that's the I shift oil change uh, pretty simple um, pretty easy um, still have some left over like I said it's gonna take uh, four around four and a half gallons or so um, hope this helps thanks for watching um, subscribe if you like it thank you